All right, guys, I want to dispel a myth once and for all. You don't need humidity for fig cuttings. If you guys want to check out my little grow room here, this is an update from the video I posted a few weeks ago, and you guys are going to see how well these things are growing. Let's check it out. Welcome to the garden. All right, guys, look at this. These figs are doing fantastic. They're growing really, really well. But I want to show you something. So, you know, by the way, check these guys out. My La Bourgeoisie are rooting awesome. I mean, they are getting tons of roots. That's the one I was most worried about. It was the most expensive and probably the most tender, I would guess. But uh, all of them, all three of them are rooting very, very well. Uh, and then here, I'll show you my favorite set of roots here. We've got the Tacoma Violet. That is just a nice stout plant there, man. And those roots are just completely taken over that cup. I don't know what I'm going to do with these guys. I got several months to go before it warms up enough outside. But most of these plants are taken off. I want to show you here, this guy, a couple of them got a little burnt here, and that was my own fault. I just let the cups dry out too much one day, but they're bouncing back just fine. But look at this, guys. I have all of these guys. I've rooted all of these guys without humidity, and I'm getting awesome percentages. Some of them haven't leafed out yet. That one is, I think it's starting to form roots, but it's... Uh, you, you can see the bud starting to swell a little bit there, but it hasn't really opened up yet. And I'm finding that with the Ronde Bordeaux, that's what's been going on. So this one as well, that's another RDB. And you can see it's finally starting to get a little leaf right here. Got roots down in there, but some of these varieties just take a little bit longer. Um, same with the Col de Dame Grease. So, uh, you know, they're moving along. Some of them are just not going to root and not do well at all. But, uh, you know, for the most part, I'd say over 90% here have rooted. And I'm really happy with the success rate. And didn't have to mess with humidity. So, look at this guy. Normally, you can see this uh, Vasilika Black here. It was wilting back right here. And these leaves were starting to die back. And in a lot of cases, people might say man, it's time to, you know, put that thing under some humidity. And they'd, oh, they'd freak out and they'd, oh, I'm going to put it in humidity. Stop it. Don't do it. These things do not need humidity at all. And you can see, I, you know, it was starting to wilt back. And I think it was because the roots hadn't actually formed yet, but it was starting to open up and put some new growth on. Those leaves didn't have anything to support it. But I think there's something to be said for the fact that, when the plant doesn't have the roots to support the top growth, the top growth is going to realize that when it starts to come out and then stop, and it's going to change its efforts to putting on roots. Now, this guy's starting to get some roots. I don't, you can't see any coming through here, but when I tug on it, it's, uh, you know, a little more solid in there. I can't pull it out. And I'm watching it. I did not put it under humidity. I did not try to support these leaves at all without the roots. And it's finally starting to bounce back. I got a nice green leaf right here. It's got some nice buds coming out. This leaf back in here is bouncing back. And this little guy up here is doing okay. And I think it's just, it's, you know, I think it's kind of like kids. You know, when you baby them and you, you pay their way for everything and you pamper them, they never grow. They never mature. They never, they never break out and become adults. But... You know, the same occurs with plants. When you try to baby them and put, put them in humidity, those leaves, you know, you're just, you're creating problems down the road. You're going to have to acclimate them down the road. You're introducing them to a, a fungus-friendly environment, and it's just going to create more problems, and I believe a weaker plant down the road. So you do not need humidity at all. You just, these are hardwood cuttings, and they're doing great without humidity. Those roots, those top growth leaves are only going to form at the rate that the roots allow them to and can support them. And the proof is evident right here in this little grow setup. Stop using humidity, guys. Do yourself a favor and make life a lot easier. Now, the only thing I'm going to have to worry about is... This spring coming up, you know, I've got them indoors. We're in a 65 to 75 degree environment. Um, you know, it's kind of dry in the house. There's not a lot of humidity in here. Most homes are a little more on the dry side. But uh, 
figuring out how to get them outside but i've got my hoop house and i'm not too worried about that it's 50 percent shade in there so i'll wait until it warms up into the 50s and 60s outside and then i'll put them outside but i've got a few more, more months to go for that so we're gonna have to figure out how these guys are gonna do in this area got another video i'm working on i showed you a little clip before of this i think if not here's a first sneak peek but uh we're gonna be uh we're working on a project going on in there to see if that works a little bit better uh, then what I did here, I started these guys outside. I'm starting those guys inside, but uh, I'll show you that when the time comes. So hopefully you got something out of this video. Stop using humidity. Look at the results of these guys. The garden is flourishing. Super excited about the potential. Oh, another case in point here. Another thing to, to go along with this humidity deal. I wanted to show you guys this thing. So here's another RDB. And I wrapped it in that parafilm and look at it all the way i ended up you can see i ended up taking off I, I wrapped a bunch of these in parafilm i ended up taking off most of the parafilm because i noticed right away that you know i'm creating a humid environment under that parafilm i'm trapping all of that moisture and allowing fungus to get in there and just go to town and i showed you this one in the last video but you can see there's a lot of white you know fungus build up under there and that top bud is just starting to rot away completely and this thing's just dying it's rotting it's not going to do anything and so you know i am not going to use parafilm on these guys anymore at all i think parafilm now this one did okay i had this wrapped in parafilm and it did okay but you're just you're creating the potential for more rot with this stuff because it creates that humid environment. Now, because it was just parafilm, the, the buds are able to break out beyond that and then they're not in a humid environment, they can grow healthy. But look at the odds, there you go, 50%. So, I mean, you can see that you don't need humidity with these figs and you're just creating more problems down the road if you're gonna use it. But. Uh, like I said, I hope you got something out of this. I hope you guys are enjoying these little fig videos through the winter time. If you like it, please like the video down below and subscribe if you want to follow along. I'll show you that next video that we're going to finish up here once uh, these guys over here start rooting. And uh, in the meantime, have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios.